What is up, YouTube? Welcome back to Dante's Rant Room, where we talk about controversial topics in anime, manga, and gaming. And I am your host, Dante, and we are back, guys, with another video. And I thank you and I appreciate y'all for tuning in yet again. So, um, yeah, we're gonna talk about Bochi the Rock. It's uh a new anime, it's on Crunchyroll, or <clears throat> wherever you can watch it if you catch my drift. Anyway, it's a very popular show. Um, people love it. I haven't seen it yet. I will add it to my list because people keep telling me to watch it, so I'll watch it in time. Anywho, there has been a very massive controversy with this show. And the controversy is, of course, you guessed it. Boobas, titties, mommy milkers, milk cannons on the main protagonist. Because uh, apparently to some people, it's hard to believe that people in high school, women in high school, can have huge knockers. First, this tweet before we go into the article says, Why the hell people are acting like the manga, the source material is not canon? Is it because of how current year movies made source material irrelevant? Well, to be fair, yes, this person is correct, especially here in the West. When it comes to DC and Marvel, they tend to try to, well, sometimes they tend to follow the source material, the blueprints, as I like to call it. And every so often, most likely, they like to stray from the source material because they want to do something different and innovative and typically doesn't work for them. <laughs> but yeah, here are the tweets. Uh, it says, I effing hate all of you guys. You made Bochi's Booba's canon? Oh, no. Let's keep why is Boji actually packing on the chest size? I didn't know it was canon. Lord of mercy. And another one. I thought this was an edit. Canon Boji boobs. Oh my god. <laughs> it's so funny. Oh, there's the last one. Boji having fat church is now canon. Ugh. I mean, I don't think this person's complaining. This person's actually happy, <laughs> to be fair. Um, but yeah, I guess people are shocked that this is real, I suppose, whatever. But anyway, let's go to this article here, because there's been some kind of movement to obviously get rid of for knockers. We discussed it before in the episode where they were she was taking an ice bath, trying to get a cold purposely, and they tried their best to basically eradicate any kind of boobas in that um, particular scene. And now we had this article it says Bochi the Rock nerfed Bochi's boobas. Before I continue, guys, please make sure you are subscribed. By the way, I do need you guys' help and your support in building this channel. So if you're not subscribed, make sure you subscribe. Hit the notification bell for more content. Drop a like if you enjoyed this video. Drop a comment to start a conversation. Follow me on Twitter. Link will be in the description box down below. We talk a lot about controversial topics in the anime, manga, and gaming. So you guys know that controversial topics, um, I mean, channels on YouTube don't get a lot of love, so I would, would appreciate you guys' support and subscribing. It says, in Undeniable, that Boat to the Rock is one of the most popular series of the fall 2022 season, right? Currently occupying second position in the ranking of the highest rated series of the season, according to my anime list, only behind Bleach. By the way, y'all better be watching that show. Y'all seen Ichigo's moms? <laughs> Did y'all see Ichigo's mom? Y'all need to go watch that. That show is fire. And Chainsaw Man, which is pretty good. I think I prefer Bleach over Chainsaw Man. Chainsaw, Chainsaw Man is good. It's really good. I'm enjoying that as well. I think one more episode before the season finale. However, this numerical superiority comes even though the Bochi that appears in the anime Adaptation is not totally faithful to the one that appears in the manga. We are not referring to her attitude, which in both media is socially awkward, but her physical attributes. Fan of the original work already had their doubts about it, but the most recent episode ended up confirming it. Uh, as you guys can see right here, prior to the uh, <clears throat> prior to a uh, presentation on stage, Bochi participates in a maid cafe, so obviously she must wear the characteristic outfit to serve customers. In the original manga, Ella Bochi was barely able to fit her large 
uh, boobs in her outfit, but in the anime adaptation, she's flatter than a board. Yes, she is a nerf and one of the <laughs> weakest. Let's put this on my heel. Can I do this? Right here, there we go. As y'all can see, <laughs> the massive difference between the manga on the left, right, and the anime on the right. They just don't want y'all to see nothing. <laughs> it's one thing that they did it. And it covered everything up, right? But you can still see the size of her boobs, but they just completely eradicated, obliterated, and butchered the anime. <laughs> I don't know why, um, but this is just crazy to me, man. <laughs> what do y'all think about this? Uh, let me know your thoughts in the comments section. If you're watching this show, by any means necessary, you feel me? What do y'all think about this show? Is it worth watching? Drop your comments down below in the comments section. Um, continuing, it said the production had already hinted that Bochi's uh, boobs were smaller than in the original manga in previous episodes. Uh, but the latest episode was a perfect evidence to show this fact. Was this decision made? There is no possible clue, although perhaps the production wanted Bochi to become popular with fans because of her, her personality and not because of her body. Something they definitely achieved. <laughs> okay. Would Bougie's popularity have been different if she had kept her big bosoms? After all, let's remember that the manga had gone unnoticed until now. Interesting. Well, what do you guys think about this? Um, I don't know if you want to call it censorship or something. Uh... I don't know what's going on here, man. If, if if in the manga she has big boobs, why change it for the anime? You know what I'm saying? Like, I feel they should keep the same energy as much as you can. I mean, like I said before, due to the current times we are, we are in, uh, people are going to be very hyper-vigilant when it comes to adaptations from any source. Japan, Korea, America. People are going to be hyper-aware. Because... They want to know what they're getting, you know. They're going to compare and contrast as much as they can. And they're going to catch all this stuff. <laughs> they just are. Um, I don't think this is going to affect uh, the anime at all, honestly. But I do think some people will be kind of turned off to the anime because of this. Um, I'm pretty sure people still watch it. I'm sure it's a great show. But this things like this do tend to affect people's choices when watching certain shows but anyway what are you guys thoughts about this let me know your thoughts in the comments section if you're not subscribed make sure you do subscribe for daily content like this and learn a geek culture we talk about stuff like this daily um on this channel nerdy geek culture stuff anime manga and gaming and let's get the channel to 2k subscribers we are climbing slowly but surely but i thank you guys for all the support you give me as of right now, follow me on Twitter, Dante's Ranch Room, and I will see you guys on the next episode. Make sure you drop a like if you enjoyed this video to help with the algorithm and the comments, and I will see you guys on the next episode. Man, oh man. <laughs> Peace.